All right, so I'm going to be doing something a little bit different um, this time around. I've never really done anything like this before, but um, it's it's somewhat of a VOD review. Somebody who watches my stream uh, approached me yesterday and said, hey, could you look at this uh, gameplay and tell me what I could be doing better? Um, and with their permission, I asked, of course, if I could upload it or make a video on it, because at the time that I was going to do it, my internet actually gave out, um, you know, snow and all that stuff. <laughs> Anyway, um, this is a match in silver, and I'm going to be giving my best uh, constructive criticism on every possible angle of what could have been done here to improve the gameplay uh, of, of said player. Um, so, <clears throat> Hello. it looks like it's about a nine-minute match, and they're on defense. I, I like the little bounce. Bounce was nice. I like it. I like it, dude. I like it a lot. I see he wants to get into the spot. Yeah, to, to get it to, to get into the spot, you have to bounce like what, you, what he what he did before, and you just you can bounce up into it and you can sit there. So it's, it's an okay spot. Um, Practice set in uh, in, a, in a free mode, uh, like uh, with, like no cooldowns, and practice uh, like that if you want. All right, so there's not a song on defense. Still trying to get in the spot. It's all right. All right, ball's coming in. Ball's immediately looking for a slam. We waste our slam as well. Um, so what I would have done here, ball's super super aggressive, right? Um, instead of slamming, let's just play this back a little bit. So, Ball's really aggressive. He wants to come in. I see that you're looking at him. Widow, I don't know what she's doing, but she did get a pick. But the pick was rezzed, of course. Um, what I would have done here, um, there's a couple things you could have done. Instead of slam, I would have either positioned myself to the point where you can time a punch as uh, the ball is slamming down. And you can cancel the pile driver while also punching them out of position even further back here to where you can capitalize on them. They don't have uh, grapple. You could potentially combo on them and actually kill them. Uh, by the time your next punch comes up, grapple is a somewhat of a long cooldown. It's like five, six seconds, something like that. Um, or the other thing what I would have done is I would have intentionally eaten the pile driver by uh, using seismic slam uh, to extend your slam uh, stall time from a normal you know, arcing slam of 70 damage to 125. Uh, Ball is really good at doing that. You just time it slightly before he's about to hit the ground and then just track your mouse. You have some time before he rolls away. You have a little bit of a window to actually land the slam almost every single time that you do it. Um, that is the other thing I would have done here. Um, but to make sure that your widow is safe, I probably would have just maybe played it a little bit safer and just punched the ball away and try to focus him a little bit more. And maybe, maybe calm with your team saying, hey, you know, ball's out of position, uh, no grapple or anything like that. Um... <clears throat> Instead of committing so many cooldowns um, off the get-go. But other than that, it's, it's, it's not too bad. Ball is still here. Ball is practically free right now. Good punish. I like that. Okay, ball is out. Here you want to tie... You, you kind of want to play back a little bit. Like, they do have a junk. They, they benefit from playing at a choke. And spamming it out. I see you want to take high ground. Ball is literally on their widow still. Mm. Widow is out of position. Not really a whole, a whole lot you could do there. Stalling out the ball's abilities. Nice. That's good. Shame we didn't have a last bolt to finish him off. That's good, though. I like seeing that. Good punch. Um, when you're punching like that, I would try to be a little careful because you could get killed there just because you don't have an ability uh, to get back to your team, like slam or uppercut slam. <clears throat> um, these junk mines are coming from the right side, so I would be aware of where their junk might be flanking. Could be flanking to the left of the Mega, or she could be going high ground. Their Sig Shield's weak. <clears throat> That's a good punch though, nonetheless. Ball's coming in. Instead of uppercutting the ball, again, what you could be doing here is you can time your punch and get a full punch into the ball and canceling his pile driver. He's already missing 25% of his health. If you were to land a punch like that, you will actually combo on the ball and actually kill him. I like it. I like it. We're rotating high ground. I like this a lot. This is good. Junk is... You see the junk? That's good. 
He's gonna he's gonna mine you. He missed. Nice. Okay, that's good. Not too bad. You saw what you had to deal with. That's good. Balls in your team now. Uppercut. Nice. Got the Kree. Nice. I like it. I like taking the off angles here. That's good. Again, you're, you're um, we're still uppercutting the ball. That won't, that won't do much. It's good. You can you can rotate here. You can definitely rotate here. Going for the Ana. It's a bit ambitious. They're Valking. Maybe try to get out with uh, reposition. I think maybe. No. Not bad. Nice. Got the Ana. That's good. Mine's on point. Ball's rolling through. Nice. I like it. I like it. Your team's paling for you. Good job. You guys pretty much won that fight. That's good. Overlooking the junk. Not too. Uh, it's all right. It happens. Junk's getting out essentially, or he's gonna try to. He's got the high ground again. You're pushing a junk into a corner. You, you don't want to necessarily do that because he can kill you. It makes it really easy to kill you. Um, I would just go for a slide punch. Um, if you don't know what a slide punch is, um, technically, here, let's just rewind this just a little bit, right? If we didn't waste punch here, you could have charged punch right about here, aimed it at this wall, aimed it right here at this wall, and you could have slid into the junk rat and killing him. Um, I guess I can include a, a clip of a slide punch here for you and show you what that's like uh, in editing. Um, they're really good. They're really good to do and really good to pull off and good to know and what, what maps you can use them on and what corners you can use them on because you can insta-gib somebody uh, at a choke with it uh, quite often, actually. Even though, like, you can't visibly see people, chances are you will still hit somebody. It's really good on, like, maps like Hanamura um, where you know people are going to be holding in one specific place all the time. But it's good to know situational stuff like this as well. But, yeah, don't, don't push a junk right into a corner. Don't waste your abilities. Um... And again, one other small tip as well. Um, you're slamming and then uppercutting. If you're ever going to be indoors to fighting something, you want to uppercut, then slam. Slamming um, gives you almost no damage here. But if you uppercut indoors or inside of a room, always uppercut, then slam. You'll get an extra 20 damage on your slam. Uh, solid punch on the ball. Going for the rollouts, dude. I like it. I like it. I like rollouts. Rollouts are awesome. All right. Couldn't find anybody. Good. Get out. Definitely got to practice your rollouts. 100%. You got to make them more fluid. If you're able to get out, that's good. Don't do not do rollouts all the time, though. You're, you're in a feed, and it'll cause your team to lose. Junk's getting real bosley here. We're disengaging off the high ground. I would look to rotate and take high ground again here. I would like maybe uh, crouch walk up the stairs here and maybe look for uh, an arcing slam uh, for sure. Or you can go far right. All right, looks like we're going far right. We're using abilities. Now, the problem with this is if they are ever in a position where they're, they're getting ready to push and they're, uh, let's say your team is like right here, right, holding the corner. If you are rotating, you have to keep in mind that they can hear you. Your abilities are some of the loudest abilities in the game. And they can definitely hear you when you use them. So nice. Good kill. Good engage. Solid for the most part. Ooh. Decent bounce. Good out, though. Nice. Good job. Did a little bit of poke damage. Trying to get your uh, next meteor strike. Okay, you're, doing, you're, you're, you're being too aggro here. Be careful. Their whole team is here now at this point. They could combo you and kill you. Ball is coming in again. Definitely, like whenever you see these ball ball players like hard inting into your team, try to look to punish them. He is taking high ground, which is actually something that he should be doing once to force a soldier off. Um, I know that you are trying to look for him. That's good. Maybe try to rotate high ground here. I, I, we're using too many abilities to try and engage onto people. 
Um, I would definitely look to practice like your bounces and diags more. Like they're really good to know, really good for repositioning or good for diving people like in the moment that you need it. Um, but you almost cause yourself to feed there. So before executing any type of rollout or bounces or, or diags or anything like that, do try your best to try and practice them in the maps that you plan to like execute them in. Like again, Hollywood, I, I noticed that you're trying to get them or trying to do them. Um, just be wary of that. Like you almost uh, fed, and it is a crucial time right now in the t in the team fight here. You're down your soldier, or sorry, um, the Ryan's getting rezzed, but you're down your soldier, so you could have potentially lost two here. I would have been uh, careful here and just practice these um, in 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 custom lobbies with no cooldowns. Um, so they have mines here. I like the I like the fact that you're peeking to like look for a punch somewhere here. That's good. I like that. Couldn't get it on the mercy. That's all right. Good ult. She's mercy bouncing. Nice, but they res. Another tip when you're diving a, a sigma is if he pops. Um, since you're since you're such a close range hero, and most of the times I, I've had this happen where like if I dive a sig or I'm I'm engaging a sig. And I'm like in his face, and they'll pop uh, their eat or whatever, um, expecting me to feed it with primaries. I always just spam quick melee with my ability. I just spam quick melee. It's a free thirty damage, um, and he can't really do anything. Yeah, it's it's slower, but it's still something you have to wait out instead of giving him that little bit of shield. Good pick. Good pick on the ball. Nice. Good follow. Hold the punch. Nice. Like it. I like it. Reaper's a quarter health here. He's half. Okay, he's got no wraith. Foot charge up a punch here. Mm -hmm. Ah, close. Not too bad on defense. Not too bad. Um, I think you're really... Um, so to cover, like, defense, um, what I would look to do a little bit more is practice on your rotation a little bit. Like... Sorry, the, the round complete is in my face. So, I would try to practice your, your, your ability to rotate in games, whether it's rotating to take a flank or taking high ground again. And try not to use your abilities when doing so, because people can hear you. Uh, Doomfist is very loud. Um, it's still good. Like, I like some of the things that you did. Your bounces are, 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 need some work, but they're, they're still pretty solid for someone who's playing um, in silver. Um, I would say there was one time you were really, really repetitive in one area where it could have potentially gotten you killed. Um, I would look out for that. Um, so defense wasn't too bad. Um, you, you definitely know when you should try to get out. That's good. I like that. Definitely keep working on that too. Um, punish wrecking balls try to punish wrecking balls doomfist has doomfist is literally one of those heroes that has three abilities that are made to impede movement with uppercut slam and punch they're they're made to impede movement you can you can essentially one shot a wrecking ball 100 to 0 if you know how to rotate your abilities properly or you know how to punish a ball properly um like punching while they're peeing and getting the punch off before pile driver can register or stalling out your slam airtime for a 125 slam into a combo like that is really strong. Um, you're really, really good at punishing wrecking balls. You can definitely do it. All right, so we're taking out attack now. <clears throat> Looks like you're running uh, Ryan's Aria, Mercy McCree, and Anna. Not too bad. Once the missions. All right, looks like you only guys only have to get what one tick. Um, there's a few avenues of attack that you can definitely take. So we'll see how this plays out. Okay, we gotta go for a tick here. So already off the rip, they want to hold high ground. Sig's on the low ground for some reason. Good bounce, but you're also solo diving a bastion. All right, so right off the right off the get go, um, you never ever ever, you never ever ever want to be solo diving uh, a bastion. You're wasting abilities to get in to do almost next to nothing damage there's not much you can do but the one thing that you can do is taking a solid flank or reposition that forces their team to either move or to know that you're there to apply pressure to to, to the team so for example you can let's just say 
for example, if you were to do an uppercut off this car here, charge a punch and do a turn punch and go over their high ground, you're essentially now in their back line. There's a lot of things that you can do with this. You, you, you have forced a reposition, and now you're in their back line. Now they know that you're there. They're going to be worried about you now. Um, Bastion is one of those heroes that when you're playing against, he, it's more of a team effort to try and take care of. Most times when I play into Bastions, I usually just swap. I usually play something like Genji, something that's really easy. Something that's just like that. Something that's really easy to... Um, to, to, to get in, do some damage, but get out for free, pretty much like deflect. The timing could not have been more perfect on that, by the way. I like it. You're definitely in the back lane here. It's good. You're looking for value. I like it. Dash. Fuck the sleep. All right. So now we're, we're being a little too aggressive. Um, try to poke a little bit more from, from a range. Um, there's really no reason to try and be jumpy to get into their team um, because they are running a Bastion. Try to poke and apply as much pressure from a distance as you can, even getting the team to look at you or trying to, to pull, the, pull the team away from their Bastion uh, is definitely something that people tend to do sometimes. Um, instead of going in and uh, trying to engage on the Ana and making a pick, um, keep in mind, they're, they're running a Mercy, so even if you did kill the Ana and you got out successfully, you're forcing res, but they're still there. You know what I mean? Try to try to poke for ult charge at this point. You've only got two or three minutes. This is a, definitely a game that you're going to win off of ult economy. So I would try to prolong your life as much as possible and poke from a distance. Or if you're going to take that approach in feed, you need to just go into like the Bastion himself. Whatever's got the most amount of damage you can do in a given area. Like if it's... It, there's, there's two ways that I usually handle this type of situation. Like I said... You either go in and you feed, trying to get as much ult charge as you can in a short amount of time as possible. And what I would do if that was the case is I would always try to look for killing or pressuring the Bastion um, while maintaining line of sight um, and, and trying to get out. So just just being like like mini bursts of hyper, like mini bursts of like hyper aggression, you know, like being really aggressive, like for a, a small amount of time and then backing away when you, you let your cooldowns come back. Um... <clears throat> Or, or just going all in and being able to feed can get you ult charge as well. For, you know, it happens. I wouldn't recommend it too much, but it, it does work if you're trying to win a game that's based off ult economy. So right now, you guys already have uh, Valk. You have uh, Grab soon, but we're still sitting here at 24% to Blade. Like, even Junk's got more ult charge than uh, you at the moment. So you, I would definitely try to look to, to, to do more damage in some way, whether it's poking from a distance and applying pressure from far or just just straight up just getting in there and, and, and trying to tear shit up. Bastion is so free right now. He, he's so free to just hit right now. You're already at 40% ult charge. We have no deflect right now, so be very careful. Okay, Bastion's rotated to the high ground. You see him. That's good. I like that. You can definitely contest him here. Nice. I like that. Careful. Nice. Good deflect. All right. You don't have to deflect right now. You got to be very careful here. Nice. You dashed out. I like that. That's good. Okay. So they're responding with whole hog. Hog is slept. Also, try to do as much damage to the barrier as you can as well. The faster that barrier goes down, the, the, the more likely it is for your team to be able to push into their Bastion and pressure the Bastion so he doesn't shoot as much. Like, he's already forced to move. There's no barrier here anymore. Dragons is going off. So you're kind of in trouble. You're probably dead here. I like the attempt at dashing out. That's good. Um, they have, we're using Valk right now. They still have Grav and Nano. You have every ult in the game at the moment, except for, for Blade. You guys pretty much won this off of ult economy and coordination, I can, I can tell. You guys went for double grab combo. We used Tire to secure the final kill. And Nano was active as well. You guys purely won this game off of, uh, ult economy. Uh, and coordinating your ults, which is really good. Something that they didn't do. They didn't really have a, a comp. Like, he, he had Sigil. He died with Sigil. He could have Sig and grabbed, you know, he could have he grabbed and uh, Dragons with Gravitic and just threw it under the team. Um, it's not too bad. Definitely try to look for improvements on a few different things here. Like, knowing, like, if you're trying to learn both Genji and Doomfist at the same time, they're, they're both two very different but similar heroes. Um, Doom is, is, 
he, he he's he's kind of tough. He's he's kind of he's kind of tough. So is Genji, but they're they're just tough for different reasons. Genji, I find it a little bit easier to poke from a distance while also being able to have the ability to go in and also having the kill potential to get out instantly if you actually are securing those kills. Um, if they are like good kill targets, really good for mopping up and finishing up team fights. Um, solid poke damage. Uh, Doom is purely you know he's a brawl here. He has to get in, has to get in their face to do damage, um, and get value. His ability to get out is usually one of two it's usually two ways you can either slam in uppercut right and you punch out or you punch in uppercut and then e out you, you, that's your true primary combos really when you when you want to poke or go in somewhere right um he definitely does it more often i think um for Doomfist, I think what you should work on a bit more is being able to rotate, as I've said before, or said earlier, looking to rotate to uh, different flanks or the high ground without using your abilities, of course, because you don't want to give away that you're you're moving or give away the position that you're holding, right? The team knows where you are. Um, definitely practice your your uh, mechanic, um, not mechanics, but your tech, your your tech, your tech with Doomfist, like bounces, diags. Um, rollouts and things like that practice those in custom matches i don't care if you have to sit there for an hour or two hours x amount of time you want to drill those essentially because it, 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 it's not necessary to know but it's useful like it, it's not required to, to to for doom's kit to know those things to climb because you can climb purely by playing doom the way it's meant to be played which is punch botting and being very you know brawly um but there are some instances here where I can see that you're trying to use diags and, and bounces, and they are for good reason. They, the, the, it, it's what I mean by uh, things that are useful to know um, that you can use in your kit. It's more, it's more it, to put it this way, it's more things for your kit. It's, it's more uh, like tools for your kit, essentially, that you can use that will help you when playing this hero. Um, as for Genji... Um, one of two things. I mean, I couldn't really give you a whole lot on Genji because you were playing him into Bastion, which is essentially something that I would have done other than the fact that there's two ways to play him, really. Playing with a lot of poke or being very, very hyper, like, aggressive, like, short, short bursts of aggression where you're being very aggro, you're poking pretty hard, or you're in their faces, and then you have to just, you, you get out with deflect or you get out with, like, climbing, you know, walls or, or lining the Bastion or anything like that. There wasn't really much that I could give you there um, because it seems like your team on that round really like they really came together and managed to push that um and coordinated their ults so i couldn't give you too much on genji unless you gave me like a f uh, like a full complete round of you playing genji but doom for the most part i like what you did it was nice like you know when to get out um you're the, the the spots you were trying to use some of them were a little bit repetitive um there was a point where you you kept bouncing off this car and getting into the choke here um, if you do that too many times, you know, maybe even after a second time, you're gonna get punished. If this was a higher if this was a higher elo, you're definitely gonna get punished for sure. Um so doing you know, being too repetitive can 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 be also can can be hurtful. They're good bounces, yes. You know, they they're really well executed and and, and they're 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 solid, but doing them too many, like, is is gonna is gonna they're gonna punish you. Um I like that you know when to get out. You definitely know when you should be getting out so you don't feed. Um, I like that. Um, pretty solid uh, replay uh, for the most part. So uh, I, I don't want to keep rambling and make this long or whatever. But um, work on your, your tech. Nail your bounces. Your, your rollouts and diags. Practice them. Practice, practice, practice. Again, they're not required to call them with Doomfist. You don't need to know those things. But they're more tools for your kit. Um, definitely look for rotating again for flanks or the high ground. Look for that as well. Um, and one more thing I forgot to mention is punish their ball, punish their ball into the ground. He, he was coming in multiple times and feeding. You can definitely cancel PD with punch and almost one shot the ball a hundred to oh by just comboing on him. Your, 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 your kit is almost one of the best to deal with ball besides a Sombra or any other form of stun, you can definitely, like, combo on a ball and prevent him from doing literally anything if you get good at that. 
But other than that, pretty solid. Keep it up. Um, let me know what you think. And I'm glad I could do this uh, VOD review for you. I hope it helps. Um, there wasn't really a whole lot to 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 go off of because this was a pretty short game. You know, nine minutes. It was just very cut. Like, oh, you held one point. You know, there wasn't like a full map to expand upon. You know, all these multitude of different flanks and different high grounds that you could have done or anything like that. Um, if you have like another VOD that you want me to review, that's like a long, complete game where it's like maybe going three to three instead of just like holding first point, I, I would definitely love to help you out with that or try to look at that. But um, thank you very much. And for anybody else that was watching this, I hope this may be of help you too. I don't know. But um, I wanted to try something a little bit different. And like I said, I got permission, of course. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to do this in the first place. But uh, thank you very much for watching.